When Dr. Bach discovered the 12 healers, the first 12 essences from the series of 38 Bach flower remedies, he described relatively simple emotional states. There were remedies for the nervous, fearful, mimulous types, for the irritable empathians person, for those whose thoughts were always divided by choice, scleranthus. The most exotic of the first twelve healer flowers was Serato, a native of western China. Seeds of this plant had been sent to the west in 1908 by the plant hunter Ernest Wilson. Serato was described by Bach as a remedy for those who are naive, foolish and easily led by others. It grows naturally in a few square miles of a remote part of the Chinese province of Sichuan, in the Minjiang Valley, west of the city of Chengdu. Exactly 100 years after the Serato seeds were sent to England, a terrible earthquake hit the area. The mountains where Serato grows wild fell into the valley. Such catastrophic events impact on individual lives. It is for this that Dr. Bach discovered the second 19. Emotional reactions to traumatic events. Traumatic events like the earthquake in China but equally like the earthquake of emotional disturbance which we meet in more mundane life circumstances. Accidents, illness, death, distress of many kinds, those events which shake the foundations of our confidence and security. In life terms, these remedies, the second 19, are born of the deep pain of what is often violent experience. The earthquake and what followed might lead us to think of shock, grief and pain. The emotional dislocation which we link to Star of Bethlehem, which flowers in late spring. Bach described this flower as for those in great distress under conditions which for a time produce great unhappiness, the shock of serious news, the loss of someone dear, the fright following an accident. But the new cycle of 19 remedies began earlier in the year with cherry plum. This is the remedy for those who fear that their sanity is giving way. Those who fear their dark side, who imagine they may do dreaded things, not wished for and known to be wrong. Yet there comes the thought and the impulse to do them. when we fear losing mental control. The flowers of cherry plum flood the early year with brilliance, the light which inspires us with confidence and calm, the returning light of spring.
It is not quite certain in which order Dr. Bach discovered these remedies in the early months of 1935. Elm was probably the next. It may be that he felt overwhelmed by responsibility. He described Elm as being, for those who are doing good in the world yet feel the task they have undertaken is too difficult and not within the power of a human being. Surely appropriate to his own situation. Elm is majestic, a massive tree, yet it is destroyed by disease. The flowers, a soft blush of pink, beautiful and strong with reassurance. Aspen, by contrast, is slender, a tree without great presence, without clear structure and definition. The flowers are silvery catkins which dangle loosely, pointing down towards the earth. The remedy made from the female flowers is for vague, unknown fears for which there can be no reason, a haunting feeling of premonition. The patient, we are told, may tremble. Indeed, the tree trembles. The leaves shake in the slightest breeze and there is a strange, shadowy greyness, a ghostly quality. The patterning on the bark like some runic inscription, a message from the unknown. He described these remedies as being more spiritualized. Not of course that they lead easily to heaven, but they take us on the steep, narrow and difficult path of experience. Where the twelve healers are innocence, the second nineteen are experience. In theory, we should all learn from experience, meeting a challenge, learning and then knowing better for next time. But some people miss the opportunity, the chestnut bud problem. This is not a flower remedy, but made from the opening leaf buds of the horse chestnut tree. They are the future, each a unique exploration in space and time. An experience repeated and repeated in spring. Larch also describes a learning process. How do we meet a new situation? As a result of past trauma, some people lack confidence. They expect failure, feel they will never be a success, and so do not make a strong effort to succeed. Larch is about a lack of self-belief. <laughs> 